All right. This is a really cool one. This one really caught my ear when I heard it. And a few people have been requesting a Woody Shaw lick uh, for a few weeks now. So here it is. And this is over There Is No Greater Love, where he does his solo break, which is why I put the chords in as a 1, 6, 2, 5, because he's obviously he's doing his solo break. There's no chords underneath him. But I think typically when there's a solo break in a song, it's pretty safe to assume that it's a 1, 6, 2, 5 or some sort of turnaround to bring you back to the top. So the way we're starting this is we're going to start with our pinky up on F on the first string, and we're going to do chromatic all the way from F all the way down to B flat on our second string. So the way we do that is we start with we start with a little triplet slur where we pick F with our pinky, pull off to E with the ring, pull off to E flat with the middle, and pull off to D with the pointer. And then I pick C sharp with my pointer finger, then my pinky goes to C on the second string, Pick C with my pinky, pick the uh, B with my ring finger, and then I land on B flat with my middle finger. So it starts on beat two, so it goes one. Okay, and from there, so basically what that looks like to me is he's just chromatically going down, he's starting on the F, which would be the fifth of B flat, and just all the way down, and then when we land on the B flat note, that's when it switches to our C minor chord. So it looks like he's landing on the flatted seventh of the C minor. Um, so from there, then it gets really interesting. So we have one. Then from here, I slide. I have my middle finger on the B flat. And I slide it down one fret to A. And then pointer finger goes on E on the second string. And then ring finger on C sharp. All right, now this is a really interesting sound. Um, I thought about this for a while. I was trying to figure out what this could possibly be. In all honesty, I don't I'm not 100% sure, so if you have any ideas let me know. But what it looks like to me, it looks like an A major arpeggio with a flatted 9, right? Cuz if you look at this against A, it's flat 9 root fifth and third so i was like kind of taking the line and trying to see if i can uh visualize any sort of arpeggio or scale type of sound within it and it to me it has like a half hole diminished sound like a i don't know a half hole diminished or whatever but it doesn't i mean uh whatever's going on there it doesn't exactly line up against like c minor and f7 which is why it sounds so cool it really ca catches your ear at least it caught my ear so, not exactly sure what that is, but I love the sound of it, and if you have any idea as to what you think it might be, please let me know. And then the end of it, it's like a pretty clear um, F altered. So, got that little four note interesting thing, and then from there, put your ring finger on the G flat on the third string, then you go to the next string, pointer finger on A flat, and then hammer on the B flat, back to the G flat, and and then just end picking the F note with your middle finger. So that little ending part, you could see the F7 in that because it's altered. It's the flat nine, sharp nine, and then actually the four, so it gives you kind of like a, a suspended sound maybe. And, and then back to the flat nine, because you could also, if you did, right, that would be if you were using the third, but he's using the four, which you can use the four, it has a cool sound. And then end on the F, which is like the fifth of your B flat chord. Okay, so the entire line, 